Congress, Daniil, back into the Australian Open final. How did you think you turned this around? <laughs> Uh, I could say a lot. I could say uh, not much. Um, I tried to fight. I went more aggressive because I was tired. So I understood that I'm not going to be able to run for three hours. And then actually by doing this, I managed to regain a little bit physically and I felt like I was better than him physically afterwards. Uh, but in general, yeah, just by fighting and trying my best, serve worked better and I managed to, to make it. So yeah, not much more to add. John. Crucial point in the tiebreaker in your forehand return. Can you talk us through that? Yeah, lucky, lucky. Um, I think basically every time I went for a cheap return was because I thought he's going to serve to the backhand and when it comes to 200, you don't have time to change the grip, at least me. Uh, so that's every time I chipped and for sure uh, when I chip I try to, to go longer. Um, the side was against the wind. I think uh, I was tight, so I shanked it. I for sure didn't. Did I want to go at least short or no? I don't even remember. You just tried to put it in. So I shanked it a little bit. It was not like a frame completely, but I didn't play it with the center. But the moment I saw it going, I was like, there are two, two ways. Either it touches the, um, like the, the tape and stays on my side, or it just kind of rolls over onto his side. I was like, please be the second one. I mean, I want to win. And it was the second one. And uh, yeah, tough tough luck for him, for sure, in this point. Managed to make an ace after, but uh, that's what tennis is about. You know, uh, Hurkacz uh, to break me, touch the net. And uh, I, uh, well, I won the set, but it happens. It happens. Uh, and I got lucky. John, the five-set matches he played, the marathon matches he played throughout this tournament has helped you your mentality helped you grind out those types of matches? Mentally, 100%. I'm stronger than I was before this tournament um, because now I know uh, that I'm capable of some things. Maybe I thought I'm not um, because before I didn't do anything like this to get to the final. So mentally, I'm stronger than before uh, and I'm happy about it. Probably, honestly, it's better to be in the final winning three set, four set matches. Uh, that's uh, the better way physically, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, I'm uh, proud and uh, looking forward to the final to, to give my 100% again. With Daniel, just looking ahead to the final against Yannick, your head to head's pretty interesting. You won the first six games, then obviously, as you know, last three, Yannick got the better of you. Can you just explain, I guess, you know, the differences in his game in the past three games to beat you and sort of, you know, jump over that hurdle. What are you going to have to do differently to approach that game on Sunday? Yeah, in my opinion, there is nothing too much of a tactical change when he won the last three. He did a little more serve and volley, maybe a little more aggressive, but at the same time, that's what he's doing against everyone. Uh, that's He's just playing better. So the three matches, all of them were tough. Two tie breaks and two three setters. So I had my chances. Uh, it was all of them were in the end of the season where I felt like I was not at my 100% even if I was playing pretty good, but I was maybe at 97, 96. And against him, I need to be at, uh, at 100. So he's playing better than before. He, I think it started probably when he won Canada or something like this, but especially end of the season, he started playing whole different level. So if I want to beat him, I have to raise my level on a whole different level and try. I will try to do it. Medved, uh, what, what brings out the Russian asterisks in you? I mean, you're, you've been amazing this tournament. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the character. Is, it, is there any special motive which has been the driving force behind your AO24 campaign, or is it just in another way to surprise yourself? It's tough to say because, as I said it, and I said it before the tournament, I want to change. I want to become... I don't want to say a better person because I don't like this, like, labels, better person. Who knows what is a better person? But I just want to, yeah, I want to be better with myself. To not have, you know, after the matches, these moments where I'm like, uh, I did this uh, with the crowd. Uh, was it right? Was it wrong? Why did I do it? Did it help me on the court? Did it not help me? Just don't want to have it anymore. I want to play tennis. I want to be proud of myself. I want to uh, fight and stuff like this. So... Could this help me win all of these matches? 
Possibly yes, but I also don't want to say yes, one month ago I decided this and then suddenly I'm winning all these matches. Life is not that easy. But uh, I'm doing uh, what I told myself to do one month ago. I'm happy about it and I'm looking for, forward with, to what's next. David and uh, Hi, Daniel. Um, when you won the match and you were walking towards the net, you turned to your coach and your team there and you seemed to say, shout the word karma. Uh, what what was that in relation to? No, no, no. It was uh, was not it. I I tried to not go on Twitter, but I went on Twitter and I saw it all over the place. I was like, oh my god. No, I, uh, as I said just right now, I don't want to go. You know, to to let's say because it's a little bit like when you try, you know, to t touch someone and then he touches you back and then you touch someone. I wanna, you know, I I had my moments probably the most with Tsitsipas and even with him. We seem to be. You know, we're not friends, but we seem to, to respect each other more than before. So same, it was uh, something related to my team, something about uh, mentality. Um, so yeah, nothing, nothing to do with this. I, I would not be happy to, to do it this way. John? Yannick has been, has been playing very well, but he's never played in a Grand Slam final. You've got the euphoric experience and you've also had other finals that you've played in, what sort of advantage do you think that gives you ahead of Sunday? I hope it gives because <laughs> I hope to have some advantage, physical advantage I probably don't have. Uh, tennis advantage, let's see, but three times, three last times uh, he got me. So I hope uh, that this experience can help me. Um, first final is, it's, I think it's always different for everyone. I'm sure some guys went out on the first final and felt so good that just managed, I don't know, to win it. There are probably these stories. Some would go and uh, it would be tough mentally and they would lose. So uh, I have no idea how Yannick is going to be. But me, myself, I have this experience. I will try my best. I will fight for my life. And uh, let's see who wins. Before your first final, what, what feelings and emotions you had? Oh, yeah, but actually, yeah, my first final was crazy because at the time, I didn't know my tennis as well as I know it now. So it was just the beginning of when I started to be a top player. I just went top 10 like uh, for the first time probably months uh, after Wimbledon before the US Open. And playing against Rafa, um, so I kind of, in a way, I didn't know how to feel. I was, and I lost against Rafa in, uh, in Canada final, like I think it was like 6-3, 6-0 or 6-1 was easy. So I didn't know what to feel. I was like, what do I do? How, like, how do I play? How do I fight? And then first two sets, they were pretty tight because there was only one break. But in the game, I felt like I could do nothing. Like, I felt so bad. And then crazy comeback. Fortunately, couldn't win it, but like crazy story. And that's when I even believed in myself even more that I can do it. So uh, yeah, let's see again. Let's see how Yannick is going to be. Cannot predict it, but uh, me, I have this experience. I know that just have to fight and uh, try. Hi, Daniel. This um, New Year's resolution, whatever it is, to be a better person, whatever. Is there um, is there something that led to that? Like, what? When did you decide that? Uh, I would say many small, small, really small events, and it was during uh, my holiday. So I think it was like first holiday, let's say pre-season holiday I had in maybe four years or five years. I think the previous one was 2020. So we're, yeah, anyway, long time. And for whatever reason, my mind was not stopping to think uh, there because the end of the season, I was feeling mentally very tired, very tired, very... Uh, so every match I play, something would disturb me. I would, you know, have with the crowd, with someone else. I would not be... 100% okay with myself and so during this holiday I was trying some new things some uh, new I don't know breathing exercises whatever and I was like wow that feels good I know a little bit more about my body now I know a little bit more about my mind maybe I know a little bit more why things happen where before I would just okay this happened let's look in the future where now I'm trying to Okay, why this happened? Because I'm like this. So what can I do next, uh, tomorrow, today? Um, 
and I just decided I want to try. The, the toughest part is sometimes in one week, you kind of forget about it. You just move it away. You know, it happened to me so, uh, one time. I had an injury, and uh, during one week, I thought, okay, now I'm going to change my life. And then in one month, it was gone. So I don't know how long it's going to work, but so far I'm 100% um, uh, into it. And when I'm 100% into something, I tend to do it till the end. So, yeah. Anyone else in English? Yeah. Uh, you said after the win, Daniel, that if you happen to win on Sunday, you'll be the happiest man on the planet. But you also talked about how it's been a really tough court for you. Can you talk a little bit about why it's been so tough for you? And Yeah, I think just uh, in general, uh, something like the court, the balls, I never felt, uh, let's say, 100% me and the court where in US Open I have some matches where I feel like I cannot miss anymore and I'm just in the zone like final against Novak when I won like a semi-final against Carlos and some other matches here I always kind of I can play well I play well on hard courts I won a lot of tournaments so I try to use my experience I try to use my shots but even as today I'm never never in the flow like to just win someone I don't know 6-2 6-2 6-2 that's why every match is a bit uh, is a bit tough but look it's my third Australian Open final and uh, it's already pretty great <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it Maxime thank you guys